me ask you a question. Do you, do you really understand how the law of attraction works? Because today I want to share with you some fundamentals surrounding this principle of the universe. This principle that governs our interaction at an energetic vibrational point with the very universe we find ourselves in. And if you can digest what I'm going to share with you today, if you can allow this to nestle within you and take root inside of you, if you spend the next week focused on what I share with you in this video, integrating it into your spiritual walk, my friend, you will manifest the dream that up until now has eluded you. This is your time. The time is now. We are moving forward together. So come on, let's kick straight on into it. Hello, my friend, a very warm welcome to Elevate. Thanks for coming over. I love your company so much. So make yourself at home, put your feet up, say hi in the comments. I love interacting with you. And if it's your first time, can I extend a special and very warm welcome? Thank you for coming over. Thank you for your time. Thanks for trying us out. If you haven't subscribed, what are you doing? Go and hit the button. I'm here every day. You can talk with me in the comments. You can request topics. I talk about spirituality, brain sciences, the law of attraction, the universe at large. Things I learned studying for a degree in counseling. It's all here. And I love you. I'm thankful for you. You've got friends on this channel. No matter where you are in the world, no matter what you've been through, no matter what is ahead of you, you're not alone. It's a beautiful family here. But I wanted to get back to basics today. In fact, basics that really aren't basic at all. What's your understanding of the law of attraction? What's your understanding of how manifestation works? What's your understanding of your ability to interact and bend the fabric of nature, the fabric of reality to get a result that you want? What's your understanding of that? You know, the movie The Secret, have you seen it? Let me know down below if you've seen The Secret. That's impacted so many lives around the world. In fact, I heard a statistic that it's estimated that that one movie has impacted half a billion, that's with a B, lives around the world. No wonder that in the last 15 years there's been such a focus on our inner environment. There's been such a focus. The world is shifting towards mindfulness and recognizing that you can manifest your every single dream. But sadly, people get stuck with an introductory lesson of the law of attraction that says, if there's something you want, just order it from the universe. If there's something you want, just let your intention be known. It's like almost the universe has a special catalog. And you can browse the pages of this catalog and you can sit there and say, huh, I love the look of that life. I love an experience that looks like that. Universe... I'll have that one, please. And I'd also like a new partner, one that looks like that and doesn't answer back. And I'd also like a new car, one that doesn't break down. I sure as heck would like a new boss. And we are given this information that so many have digested and integrated in such a way that causes them to go backwards at a rate of knots, not forwards. This is why we see people spinning their wheels and trying to come up with all and sundry reasons to blame everyone and everything. In fact, the truth of the matter is it's our own inner journey. See, the law of attraction doesn't give to you what you want. It's never been about you getting what you want. The law of attraction does one thing. It's the universe's way of acknowledging the dream that is inside of your heart, the dream that sits there in seed form. Now, the scripture says that one man plants a seed, another man waters the seed. But it's God who gives the increase. There is a dream in seed form inside of your heart. But it is always the divine, it's always the universe that gives the increase. And what the law of attraction does is it's the universe's way of validating the seed of the dream inside of you and giving you the increase. And do you know how it gives you the increase? It does it by way of the very thing that until now you have been rejecting. It does it through your journey. The law of attraction doesn't give you what you want. You manifest what you are in harmonious vibrational alignment with. And if you want your vibration to shift so that you begin to turn up different results, 
then you need to walk a journey that allows that vibration to shift. So the universe says, okay, I see Ben down there. He's got a dream in his heart. He wants to have millions of dollars. If we just gave him a lottery win now, he'd probably blow it all in the next couple of years and come out of that experience burned and even worse off. And that dream is too valuable. So what we're going to do with Ben is we're going to hold his hand tightly. We're going to surround him with favour like a shield. Now that's what the scripture says, that God's favour surrounds us like a shield. And the universe looks on and says, we're going to walk with Ben through a journey that at times is going to look like the 23rd Psalm, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. At times it's going to be hard. But it's in the difficulties of that season that we grow and we come up higher. Have you noticed in life that so many seasons repeat? So many cycles of dysfunction keep turning up. It's just the faces of the people that change. It's the same problems in relationship after relationship. It's the same dramas at job after job. It's the same energy dysfunction. Just the seasons change. That is the universe trying to get you to pass the small test trying to get you to come up higher, inviting you and calling you forward into your brighter tomorrow. But all we have to do is walk softly and gently with the universe. All we have to do is listen for the still small voice that calls us forward, and that is the voice of the divine. See, you don't manifest what you want. You manifest the journey in which you are equipped to live in the fullness of what you want. Did you catch that? You don't manifest what you want. What you manifest is the journey in which you will grow. You will be stretched, develop new skills, come up higher, get new understanding, gain awesome new perspective. You learn things, feel things, see things that you never thought you would learn, see or feel. And then once the journey and the work in you is complete, what you seek is there waiting for you because you have become the person who is fully equipped to live amongst the manifested blessing that you have in fact manifested. You don't get what you want. You do not get what you want. The law of attraction is the means in which the universe journeys with you to equip you to live in the fullness of the majesty of what you want. The universe, God, he's not going to bring you into connection with that person who is praying for a relationship with you like you are praying for a relationship with them. You might not even know each other. You might be desperately seeking that, but you will not get into that relationship while there are still skeletons rattling around, skeletons of perhaps a bit of unhealed trauma, some narcissistic traits, maybe some anger problems. Those are the very things that would destroy the ma manifested blessing of that relationship, and that dream matters too much. You won't win the lottery without having walked a journey that allows you to develop the mindset of a millionaire. My friend, the law of attraction is actually really easy to understand when you get your head around the fact that it doesn't just give you what you want when you think happy thoughts. You can't just make your request known to God and sit on your hands. My dear friend, my brother, my sister, you have to participate in this. There is an unfolding for you to do like the beautiful rose unfolds and you have to participate in that unfolding. You do that by looking for lessons, learning them, and coming up higher. You stay faithful. You pass the small tests. When everyone around you is gossiping, you recognize that a closed mouth gathers no foot. When everyone around you is going out on the weekend and spending all of their money and they're going out and getting drunk and partying and things like that, but you feel a calling to something higher on the inside, you honour that first. When you pass these small tests, someone cuts you off in traffic. Someone says something to you that really triggers you. You don't react emotionally. You don't sit and dwell in the emotion. You don't allow yourself and permit yourself to go down the rabbit hole and sit in the pocket of that energy. Every time you do this, you take a step in the right direction. And when you move, God moves. You move, God moves. Are we clear on how the law of attraction works? You don't make your requests known and get what you want. The law of attraction is the universe's way 
of walking you lovingly and totally protected through a season and a journey in life that serves to equip you with the skills that you will need to live amidst the majesty and magnitude of the blessing you seek to manifest. Get that straight, you can have your dream. I love you. I'm thankful for you. Send this to somebody if it blessed you. Share it. Give it a thumbs up. Go and have a look at these two videos. They are going to show you how to move forward. But I love you. Make sure you come back tomorrow. Peace.